We wanted to show you our 2007 Evolution E3 trailer from Fleetwood and point out a few of the features. So you're looking at clearly at the outside before it gets popped up. This is the actual handle that you use to do the popping up, which we'll show you in a bit. Um, kind of coming along to this side of it, this is where you light up the, the, the furnace and the propane stove. You can take a look at the tires and you'll see that we've got a new set of tires on it. Coming along towards the front, uh, one of the nice features of this is, is that you're able to haul ATVs and motorcycles on it, which we've done a few times. Um, it also comes with the drop-down booms, which you can use to, to level it out when, you, when you're doing the camping. It has propane propane as well as electrical that you can use when you're dry camping and we've also added on a couple of extra uh, battery holders in case you wanted to add the extra batteries. You can see that the exterior uh, fencing actually turns into ramps that you can use to run the ATVs up with as well as it has an awning that you can set up to keep the sun out of your eyes. A few things that we've added that are extra to it that you probably see here would be the uh, luggage racks that are that are across the top as well as the uh, luggage carrier and the bicycle racks. Uh, the final thing I'd like to just show you is, is that we're including in the price the draw tight system so a hitch for your vehicle plus the draw tight that deals with the the extra weight of the hitch. I believe the hitch weight on this is 495 pounds and the towing weight of it, well I'll have to look at the exact specs, but it's about 2,000 pounds dry and I think it goes up to 4,500 is once you add in the water and whatever other luggage you want, that's like the maximum. So next we're going to move on to popping it up and we'll show you the inside. All right, so here's a view of the trailer all popped up. We've got it plugged in to, to the regular um, electrical outlet which you can do and it, so it has all the hookups for RV park but you can uh, actually run it, run it off the battery or off of the propane and it has a 35 gallon water tank for when you're doing remote camping. Uh, I think you've seen most of these other features but just wanted to give you a view of it popped up and we're now going to take you over to the interior so you can take a look at that. But before we do, I will just point out there is a stove, a char charcoal stove, that actually not charcoal, propane stove that you can use to, to barbecue on that ties into the main propane system. Welcome to the inside of our Fleetwood E3 pop-up tent camper. As you enter the door and turn to the right, you see it is equipped with a toilet and a shower. There is a shower curtain that hangs down from the top to prevent water from going all over the camper. Beyond the shower is a sleeping area, a very large sleeping area. We slept three people there at times. All of the canvas opens up to let in fresh air or it closes. We have a sink that works with both hot and cold running water. We have a stove that works, two burners. We have a refrigerator that runs on electric battery or propane. There are a couple of handy drawers which you can store stuff and there's a heater so you can stay nice and toasty while everyone else is freezing in their tents and that's controlled by a thermostat which is right over here. There's a sitting area that can also be put down and used as a bed. It can sleep too. The windows can be rolled down, both the canvas 
and the plastic. All the ties are in good shape to hold it back so it's out of your way. There are a number of good storage areas. Underneath each one of the seating areas, we have storage. There's also storage behind the seating area. And then another large sleeping area, which sleeps three as well. There is a separate sitting area across from the table. You can see the plastic is in very good condition. The ties are all intact.